So let's then uh, back everyone. Let's solve this question. Everybody likes good areas. So I guess uh, we are into last couple of videos of the series. So I hope you are enjoying the series. Anyway, uh, so let me read out the question for you. And array A is good if for all pair of adjacent elements, A i and A i plus one are of different parity. Note that an array of size one is trivially good. Fine. So basically, they are saying an array is good if uh, all the adjacent elements parity is different. So basically, if this is even, this has to be odd. Then again, this has to be even. This has to be odd. Right. So this has to happen. Right. So this is what is a definite good array, and array of size one is trivially good. Of course, if there is only one element, then we have no other element to compare. So either it can be even or odd. And so they are given a definition of a uh, good array. So if your array is of type this, even odd, even odd, even odd, or maybe odd, even odd, even odd, even. So that's what the definition of good array. So on. We are given an array of size n. So the question is starting now. We are given an array of size n. In one operation, okay, the operation is defined. You can select any pair of adjacent elements in which both elements are of same parity. Okay, so we can pick an element. Which both of them are of same parity. Okay, the operation is defined on the pair of elements, like ad pair adjacent elements which are of same parity. That's important here, right, guys? So this operation is defined like you can select any pair of adjacent elements which are same parity, delete them, and insert their product in the same position. Okay, cool. So they are given a definition of good array, right? And then this is the question now. We are given an array of size n. In one operation, we can select any pair of adjacent elements which have same parity. That is either that is either they are even even or odd odd. Delete them and insert their product in the same position. So basically, if you have something like let's say odd even 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 odd, you can pick these two. I can take out these two elements, uh, delete them, and insert their product in the between. So if you multiply even and even, uh, it will you will still get an even element, right? So maybe you can do it like two into four is eight, two into six is also twelve even. So yeah, this is operation basically. Or maybe you you have something like odd odd. Let's say three three, and you can remove them. So let's say this was even even, and uh, you can remove this odd odd and insert its product, which will also be odd. Three into three is nine. So fine. So that is operation. Pick any two adjacent elements of same parity, uh, delete them, and insert their product in place of them. Fine. Find the minimum number of operations to form the good array. Find the minimum number of operations to make the array good. Okay, so we want to minimize these operations. All right. So first things first. Uh, are you sure that uh, you can always get a good array? So because uh, what they are expecting is so this is array like in the input they have just given the array. The constraints are twenty nine. So anyway, we can take this as an integer. And for each just case, print the minimum number of operations required to form a good array. So basically, they are saying that uh, answer always exists. That's what they mean, right? Because they are asking for minimum number of operations. So they are assuming that we, you can always convert. And array to a good one by following this operation. Now, is it true? Let's see. Is it true? So, what can be your worst possible kind of array? Let's see. Basically, I'm trying to prove whether output exists for every possible kind of array. So, what is the worst possible stuff that can be given to you? All array elements have same parity. So, like all have all are even basically. So, can you convert it? Uh, can you convert it to a good array? Let's see. So, the operation says you can pick any two adjacent elements of same parity. So I can pick any one, any two, and then replace them by the product. So this even even will still give an even answer. So this will now become this. Enter these two gone, and now this. And there is no limit on the number of operation, right? We just have to give them the number of operation. So you pick those two, and those two are gone. Now you can pick these two, and replace them with just one even element, right? And eventually you will pick these two off. These two off, delete them, and insert the product. You log in the even. So yeah. Fine. So that turns out uh, this is uh, this holds true for all the odd elements as well. So it turns out that answer always exists. Now you find me the minimum number of elements, right? You find me the minimum number of elements to do that. All right, fine. So I guess you got the question right. So the question was, the question was you are you are given an array A, and now you have to apply some operation. What operation? Uh, pick two adjacent elements of same parity and replace them with its uh, product. Convert it into A dash, which is good. What is good? Uh, every adjacent pair of elements have different parity. Odd, odd. So good is basically either you have array of type this or array of type this. So that is the definition of good array. So how do you think about this question? Let's think about it. All right. So that sample test cases are given. So there you you might have seen, but uh, it's not that very helpful. You might not be able to guess anything out of it. So now that you have seen the sample test cases, 
Now let's try to simplify the question. This question is involving odd and even numbers, right? And also the operation is defined on product. So how should you think? You should like this should come to your mind immediately. What happens when you multiply odd number with odd? Because in an operation, pick elements of same parity and put uh, pick elements of same parity, delete them and put the product in the like in place of them. So basically, now you need to think what happens when you multiply two odd elements. What happens when you multiply two even elements? So this we already found out that odd into odd gives odd and even into odd gives even, right? So now we are thinking about the approach. So this should come to your mind that odd into odd is odd and even into even is even, fine. So now let's simplify the question. Instead of looking at the number, like instead of looking at the array as the pure numbers, let's try to look at the array element as a bunch of even and odd elements and try to make sense out of it. Now I'll just take an example from the code forces itself. So let's say 1, 7, 11, 1, 7, 11, 2, 13, right? So instead of looking at this array like this, it's better we look at it as a bunch of even and odd numbers. So this one is odd, right? So I'll just replace it with O. So O represents odd and E represents even. So this is O, this is E, and this is again O. Fine. Now they are asking for minimum number of operations. Minimum number of operations. Now tell me one thing. Uh, uh, initially you have array, right? So you want to make it beautiful. That is no two adjacent elements should have same parity. You want to convert it into this form, right? So this has to be converted into these three, like this three run of odd elements is creating a problem, right? So how can you get rid of uh, this three run of odd elements? So this three run of odd elements, you can be consider it as a simply an entire array of odd elements. So how do you do it? Pick these two, replace it with the odd element, then pick these two. Okay, pick these two, replace it with the odd element, then pick these two and replace the odd element. Right? So hear me out. Can you see your array? Basically, let's just uh, take one more example. Uh, let's say uh, the numbers were given to you and it looked like this odd 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 even 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 and maybe let's say one more even then odd and even even okay fine so let's say this was the numbers and they translated to this now you want to minimize the operation that is picking the two elements and re replacing picking the two elements same parity and replacing them with the product so in the end your end goal is Odd even, odd even, odd even, odd even, odd. Every additional element should be compared. Fine. So hear me out. So you will have this run of odds, run of evens, and run of evens, right? So basically, either you will have run of odds, run of odds in your array, or you will have run of evens in your array. But this run of odds and evens, if they are greater than one, then that is a problem, right? So if you have three odds, you just want one odd here. You have one, two, three, four evens. You just want one even here. You have two evens. I just want one even here. This run of odds, if this run size is greater than equals greater than one, there is a problem, right? So this runs needs to be reduced to one. That's what you need to do. Basically, that's the question. Now the question is, in your array, there will be this run of odds and run of evens. Run of odds and run of evens. Now your job is to just reduce these three odds into the single odd, reduce this four evens into single even, reduce this two evens into single even. Can you do it? Can you do it? Of course you can do it. You can just treat it as a, you can just uh, treat it as a, as an area of array, as an independent area, right? So basically you can treat this run of odds and evens as individual arrays. And when you know all their elements have odd elements, what do you need to do, right? So how do you convert this guy? First of all, how do you convert? Uh, let me just do one thing. Maybe let me just uh, send it to the first layer. Now, yeah, let's see. How are you going to replace this now? How are you gonna replace how I'm gonna replace this run of three odds into one of them? I'm gonna delete these two, I'm gonna pick these two, pick these two, and convert it to odd. Right? And then I'm gonna pick these two and convert it to single odd. So two operations are required, right? So two operations are required. Right? So two operations are required. And then how are you gonna convert these three? How are you gonna convert these three? How are you gonna convert these three? I'm gonna convert uh, these two to even first, then these two to even. Then these two to even, right? Fine. And how are you going to convert this? Just one operation, right? So that's the question, right? Uh, how many operations consumed here? The operations consumed here were two, right? So if you have a run of let's say k odds or k evens without loss of generality, you will have k minus one operation. You will need to consume k minus one operations. The question simply boiled down to question simply boiled down to find out this run of evens or odds and reduce them to size of one that is the question 
your question was uh, make the adjacent elements parity different but now you saw that your array can be saw the uh, array can be seen as a run of odds and evens if you want to if you want to just uh, get all the adjacent elements have a different parity i need to reduce this run of odds and evens reduce the run of odds and evens now you can observe here why this operations will always be minimum why this operation will always be minimum you think about it any which way this three has to go any which way this three odds have to go right so i don't think it is very hard to uh, convince yourself that doing this is the minimum like is going to consume the minimum number of operations because any way these three odds have to go and if these three odds have to go you'll have to consume two operations you know other options if this four evens have to go and they have to be converted to single even right because you cannot have this four run of evens you can only have one even right so basically you can only have one even after or after odd number right and you cannot basically start with three odds you have to start with one even so these two have to go and this two have to go you'll have to consume two operations right so basically there cannot be this three this has to be converted to one similarly after odd you can only have one even so this four have to go and this four have to go you'll have to treat it as an independent array and you have to apply three operations right so that's the idea huh so that is a question like uh, you got the concept so the concept is simple right you just have to find out the strips basically the run of odds or run of evens and try to reduce them you need to re reduce a strip of size k and to reduce a strip of size k you need to consume k minus operation so huh, you can do it that way okay so how are you going to implement it now this is the solution but how are you going to implement it now that's the interesting thing right so let's think about how are you going to implement this fine so cool let's see so like one uh, like you got the approach right so basically you will need to find out the strips and find out how many operations are there cool so let's see how can you implement it can i say that if i found out two consecutive elements of same parity we are going to consume one operation right so this is going to consume one operation and this is going to consume one operation right this is going to consume one operation 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 right you're getting what i'm saying so basically uh, okay i'll repeat myself if you find out uh, ai and ai plus 1 equal you find out ai and ai plus 1 equal can you say that i am going to consume one operation here definitely right you are going to consume one operation here and convert it and uh, convert it to odd right fine and now i find out one more like a one i found out ai and ai plus 1 again to be equal so i am definitely sure one more operation consumed here right so after this was converted to odd this was converted to odd right right so first this was converted to odd because ai and ai plus 1 equal so one operation consumed here and after that one operation is also consumed here right similarly come here ai ai plus 1 equal ai and ai plus 1 equal so one operation consumed here so this two are replaced with these two are replaced with a single e right now come here again ai and ai plus 1 are equal ai and ai plus 1 equal so one more operation consumed here because these two will be converted to even now right now come here again ai and ai plus 1 equal so one more operation consumed here right so i think you are getting so what you can do is uh, uh what you can do is basically your uh, solution can be very simple and uh, if two adjacent elements are of same parity so basically if ai and ai plus 1 is odd or ai and uh, ai plus 1 is even okay so either this is true if ai and ai plus 1 is odd or ai and ai plus 1 is even you can just increment the operation right you can increment the operation because effectively we are doing the same thing effectively we are reducing the run of odds and evens to one right we just saw right so this three is uh, odds have to be reduced to one how do you do it if these two are equal one operation these two are equal one operation so effectively you converted this strip to a size uh, you converted the strip to a size one by consuming two operations so yeah so if you can like maybe see the array is this odd and even i don't think it is this one is also difficult to figure out that ai and ai plus one if ai and ai plus one have same parity we are going to consume one operation right so frankly i came here and then i was able to think about this if i just see the consecutive elements then i definitely know they have to be converted to a single element and then operation has to be incremented right so basically i'm going to go through all the adjacent pairs i'm going to go through all the adjacent pairs all the i from of course one till n minus one i'm going to go through all the adjacent pairs and check if they both are odd if they both are odd then definitely one operation is consumed if they both are even also one operation is consumed fine so that's that uh, i guess that's about the code so and we know that definitely uh, 
the answer always exists that we already saw. So yeah, let's just uh, quickly code up the solution. Right, then uh, let's uh, code the solution up. So I've taken the array input here, fine. So let's initialize uh, the total number of operations to zero now. And uh, we'll go through every adjacent pairs. So i equals to zero, i less than n minus one. Uh, in the, I guess the array given was one index, but we have zero index array, right? So i equals to zero, i less than n minus one, and i plus plus. And what do I need to check? If uh, two consecutive, if basically this pair, this adjacent pair is of same parity or not. If, if this adjacent pair is of same parity, then one operation will be consumed to convert it to one guy, right? So basically, if there are two consecutive odds, we need to apply one operation and convert it to one odd. Right, so that needs to be done. So let me just quickly do it. If array of i is odd and array of i plus one is odd, right? So if array i is odd or array of i plus one is odd, or so maybe I need to enclose it in one more bracket. Otherwise, there will be issues. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, if, just to be sure. Okay, so if two consecutive elements are odd or two consecutive elements are even, right? And and even of area of i plus one. so there's even an order i have defined above okay so yeah so if this is the case then operations need to be incremented operations plus plus if two consecutive elements have same parity then we need to consume an operation and convert them to one and uh, that's that and in the end i can just print the operation cool let's see so 203 should come right here yeah maybe i'll just uh, remove this and try to run it again yeah, 203 comes. Yeah, let me just quickly submit it and see if it works. Yeah, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.